Good evening, everyone. It's a delight to be here, and especially on this occasion. I've been asked to introduce Annie Clements, who I doubt actually needs an introduction, but nonetheless, I'll try to provide a couple of comments about her. Before I do, I want to mention a few folks who helped make this happen. And first, of course, the National Park Service, the Kimono National Historical Park, who's uh, hosted this event for us. So thanks so much to the park for all the effort you put into this and, and hosting this event. I appreciate it. I personally got interested in Annie because I have a cousin who lives here outside of Italian Met, Joanne Thomas. And Joanne's the first one who told me about Annie and got me interested in her. She's done an exhibit across the street about Annie at Coppertown Museum. We're going to be talking about that later because that museum's going to be open late, especially tonight, so that you can go over and look at the exhibit if you'd like to. And if you don't do it tonight, you should definitely do it sometime. It's a great exhibit. So I'd like Joanne to stand up and wave back there. Joining the Western Federation of Miners. 
there was approximately 800 women in the area who became card-carrying members of the Western Federation of Miners during the course of the strike. They had three women's locals and became the president of the Italian Men Women's Club. But what we request principally to be tolerant for was carrying those gigantic American flags. The, uh, there's been some comment historically that perhaps Annie was something of a media creation or, or a figurehead that was put forward by the union to uh, just simply be a symbol of the strike. I think that would be grossly underestimating your contribution if you thought that's where it ended. The, um, you know, I've thought about this point quite a bit, and to me, the most eloquent testimony would come from the people who were there, from the miners themselves. Obviously, they're not here with us today to speak to this point. But if you were to ask them, I feel pretty certain did they think that Annie was out on the street every day helping to lead the picket? Yes, she was. Did they feel that she was taking great personal risks with participating in these strikes, the parade, the parade demonstrations as they call them? And there were a lot of arrests and there was a lot of violence. These strikes were really rough business. There was a lot of violence. Yes, she did take a lot of risks. She was, in, she was arrested at least three times that we know of, and some reports of many more times. She was personally injured during the course of the strip. Did they feel that she helped embody the strike, and that's really the core of it. 